Some 200,000 Bedouin citizens live in the Negev Desert. Many of them are descendants of families that settled in the region centuries ago. Others were uprooted from elsewhere in Israel and transferred to the region by the government when the State of Israel was established. The Bedouin have villages and agricultural areas, a vast tradition and an extensive history. What they do not have are connections to water and electricity or recognition from the state, which considers them squatters and their homes illegal structures. To the state of Israel, the Bedouin are invisible citizens. A law currently being promoted by the government would have the state uproot 40,000 Bedouin from their lands, confiscate their property, and force the inhabitants to resettle wherever the government and only the government determines. Centuries of settlement, agriculture, tradition, and community life will be erased in one stroke of the pen. Bedouin property rights in the Negev will cease to exist. The state plans to move these Bedouin citizens to the townships it built in the 70s and 80s, most of which are lacking in infrastructure, and all of which are chronically underdeveloped. Formal recognition of unrecognized villages is also being conditioned on the application of exceptionally draconian planning criteria. Of the hundreds of Jewish communities and farms in the Negev, only a handful would meet the criteria that are being imposed on the Bedouin villages. Bedouin lands constitute less than 3% of the Negev's total area. In the government's view, this is still far too much. Financial pressure is being used to force the Bedouin to opt into the plan. Those who opt in now will receive inadequate compensation. Those who opt in later will receive an even less adequate compensation. Those who do not opt in at all will simply lose their land. In other words, the government's proposal is unjust, impracticable, unconstitutional, and discriminatory toward the Bedouin. It will violate fundamental rights, shatter communities, and forever harm the relationship between the Bedouin and the state. There is, however, another option, one that strengthens the dialogue between the state and its citizens. The alternative master plan for Bedouin villages in the Negev, based on professional planning standards, was prepared by the relevant Bedouin communities in cooperation with civil society organizations. It allows for recognition of 35 unrecognized villages in accordance with equitable and broadly accepted professional planning standards. This solution can be implemented independently of the resolution of land ownership issues and is based on the historical ownership paradigm. As such, it will mitigate the dispute because the villages to be recognized are located on lands owned by the Bedouin. The result? A legal, just and equitable solution for everyone in Israel. It's good for the Bedouin residents. It's good for their Jewish neighbors. It's good for the Negev and it's totally economically viable. The effort to stop the Begin Prower Plan and promote the alternative master plan in its place needs your help. For additional information, please contact us.